Hi and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips. My name is Gabe and today in this video I'm just doing a quick test with the Max Lens Mod 2.0 uh, because a lot of people have the question to Max Lens Mod 2.0 or not to Max Lens Mod 2.0. That is the question that a lot of people are having online. Uh, I've been seeing it in the forums. People who have bought the GoPro 12, people who are looking at it are trying to decide. Everyone wants to know, should I pay $99 for this accessory to get this little piece of glass that goes on my GoPro and makes it better? I don't know. Well, what is GoPro saying? Well, basically with the Hero 12, they kind of doubled down on the marketing of this accessory, releasing the 2.0 version uh, and gatekeeping essentially all the new features of the Hero 12 to people who wanted to buy this tiny little piece of glass. So is it worth it? Well, that's what I'm out here freezing my ass off testing. Uh, it is really cold, but I'm out here doing this because I wanna help you make your better tech purchases. So right now I'm filming with the GoPro Hero 12 in the standard wide angle field of view. Personally, when I'm using this camera, this is like 90% of the time when I'm shooting it. It looks nice for vlogging. It's not too wide, but it still is, you know, wide angle. I think it's about uh, 16 millimeters, maybe. I can't remember, uh, but it's around that range. You know, it's not getting into fisheye lens territory, but it's also definitely, you know, down from your standard 24 millimeters, which is what your iPhone shoots. Uh, but this also isn't the widest that the GoPro camera can shoot. So with just a couple taps of the touchscreen there, boom, we are in hyperview is what they call it and wow this is uh insane yeah like you can see it gets so distorted here around the edges i personally don't know why anyone would use anything this wide uh maybe i guess if you mount it like to your helmet i've seen people do that for skydiving and stuff and it's kind of cool you can get your full body in it so like if you're doing snowboarding you can you know do a grab uh and you know get the full thing and while getting your Mm, trying to look cool face uh, but yeah it's it's really a stylized look it is cool definitely it is attention grabbing if you film something with this but it's really most of the time you're not going to use this but again this is the widest that you can get built into the gopro so potentially you don't even need this but right now i'll pop this on the camera to show you what the max lens mod 2.0 enables and what its limitations are And ta-da, wait, what's going on with this camera? Oh yeah, I actually left this in because I have seen a lot of people asking this question, running into this problem. Uh, basically right now I put the Max Lens Mod 2.0 on the GoPro, but I didn't enable the software setting to have the camera know that there's an additional lens on the camera in front of the sensor and that it needs to actually crop in in order to take advantage of the Max Lens Mod accessory. So let's do that and now actually see what this looks like. Boom, there we go. Max Lens Mod 2.0 enabled and kind of looks the same as the standard GoPro wide angle field view. That's, yeah, essentially one of the big takeaways is with just the Max Lens Mod 2.0 enabled, standard wide field of view basically looks the same. So now let's talk what's different, the advantages you get with this. The biggest thing that you've seen advertising probably is whoa, whoa, what's happening? Well, from your field of view on the camera, not much. I'm probably just staying still. But from my point of view, I'm twisting this camera every which way. And thanks to that Max Lens Mod 2.0, it can actually just stay, you know, with me perfectly upright. And that's, yeah, it's pretty cool, I'll say. Is it useful? I personally have not used it, uh, but that doesn't mean you won't find a use for it. So that's why I'm showing it off. Uh, the other big thing is you get Max Hyperview. So remember Hyperview? I'll show you a clip of that. Uh, yeah, remember how wide that was? Hold on, brace yourself because Max Hyperview is insane. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh, it is so wide. Like you can get, you know, your whole body in from like an arm's length. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. My arm looks like, I don't even know. It doesn't even look real, but you can do it. And it also, guess what? It also, you know, has that horizon lock feature so you can, flip your arm around every which way and not care about which way your GoPro is and still like right now my GoPro is vertical and I'm still the right way up so yeah I guess that's cool um, you can also get POV stuff but really I've noticed with this wide of a lens your arms just start to look like hot dogs and sausages a little bit but 
yeah, if you're doing POV stuff a lot, it is kind of cool to have because you can get more in the frame and people are kind of used to seeing sausage arm sort of things uh, from just video games and stuff. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, I'll go back to the standard uh, look to continue explaining what you get and what you lose by using it other than hundred dollars. Well, the biggest thing is you're restricted to only 4K video, which yeah, that's not a big deal. The other tiny thing is you do lose out on your higher frame rate options and your wider like 8.7 view. I think you're only limited to 4.3 or maybe just even 16.9. I don't know. They, they really limit it. Uh, so I personally haven't used this that much. Will you use it? I don't know. I'm not you, but that's why I'm making this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Hopefully it informed you whether you or not you should go spend a hundred dollars on this tiny little lens or whether you should put it towards other stuff. Like, I don't know, uh, go, go learn something, go take a class, go, um, I don't know, donate to someone's uh, charity. I don't know. A hundred dollars is a lot. Should you put it towards the thing? I, I personally don't think so, uh, but that's just my point of view. So well, actually that's my point of view. Uh, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you're still watching, thank you for watching. Uh, comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe, like, you do the deal. Enjoy your life. Go fill some cool stuff with a GoPro. Peace out. Bye.